Hey guys, welcome back to the Financial Minute. My name's Josh. Thank you so much for joining me. Here we talk about all things finance. And I love real estate, as you all know if you watched many of my videos. And I thought today we'd talk about what is going on with real estate in 2021. Are we in for another year of really uh, short supply of housing and prices constantly going up? Or is this a bubble that is going to pop? Let's do some research and see what some of the numbers say and uh, I'll give you my opinion. Obviously that's all it'll be because remember this is only for entertainment purposes. I am not a financial advisor and I'm definitely not your financial advisor. but. Let's get to it right after this. As of December 2020, the average home in the U.S. was right around the $266,000 mark, about 8.5% up for that year, about a $20,000 increase from the previous year. House prices in all major markets continue to increase as of this moment. Bidding wars and quick snapping up of houses is something buyers have to face. And a house that goes on the market for, say, 300000 may sell for much more. So there's actual bidding going on above asking price all across the country as of this moment. Uh, my dad is trying to buy a house at this moment, and he is running into that predicament. Due to these conditions, the housing market has seen increases that are only on par with 2005, uh, with the 2005 housing boom. As of now, the price just keeps going up month by month, and has shown no signs of declining. Which is odd, as many industries have suffered during COVID-19, um, but the housing market has not. It really is a perfect storm, with interest rates at all-time lows. Um, due to the pandemic, uh, builders are struggling to build houses, as just it's hard to find uh, work for or labor to get these houses built. In a, you know, in a decent period of time. Also, materials are at all-time highs, and in some places, there are shortages on lumber, concrete, etc. There are about 1.9 months worth of houses uh, with, a, with a home inventory on supply. So that means for every, for the demand of 100 houses, there are 190 houses on the market. Also, guys, the rise in remote work has really given people the ability to work from home and work from, you know, different locations so they don't have to necessarily be in the city in an apartment complex closer to where they work. They can work remotely out in the country. So that has uh, helped increase demand for houses that are in the country. Let me just state a few uh, housing related facts. One, more existing homes were sold in 2020 than any year since 2006. In total, 5.56 million houses were sold in 2020, up 5.6% from the year before. Zillow predicts that home prices will rise over 10% in the next coming year, or I should say this coming year, in 2021. Well guys, where does this leave us? One thing to keep in mind is that uh, there is a bit of a built-up supply of uh, foreclosure homes due to the fact that the government has not been allowing uh, foreclosures on properties now for uh, about a year. So, uh, but because of all of the stimuluses and uh, the government has just uh, pushed back the, the date to the end of this February and keeps pushing it back and says it will until it feels it's not necessary anymore. Um, we don't know exactly how many houses are in foreclosure right now, but my guess is is quite a few seems how it's been so long since the bank has been allowed to foreclose on properties. Uh, so that will definitely bring down values a bit when those do eventually seep onto the market. Um, but 
at the rate people are buying houses, I don't foresee that being a huge damper on prices. Mortgage rates have risen a little bit since January, but not much. Uh, the economy is continuing to improve in many aspects, according to national surveys. So I don't see a near-term uh, near housing price collapse, at least not according to the data that's out there right now. Could that change? For sure. If it does change, it could be very dramatic. But I guess, really, no matter what, I see house prices continuing to stay where they are or going up. Uh, at least for the next year, anyways. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please give that button a huge grand slam in the like department. And I will see you all in the next video. Be safe. God bless. Bye. Oh, remember, only you can make your financial dreams come true. Don't delay, get started today. I'll see y'all later. Bye.